Okay. Oh, good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing? Today, we are going to work on some first grade strategies that are in the North Carolina Essential Standards, and those include directions, pathways, and levels. And you can see today, Joko and I have some buddies to help us out. And we've got members of the Paw Patrol, and we got Lucy photobombing me. We have got, uh, right here, we got Marshall, we got Chase, and we got Sky. And if you'll notice, he doesn't have on a hat, but I do. And the hat that I have on is Medoc State Park. Wonderful little park, one of the best kept secrets in North Carolina. If you ever get a chance, go. They have four trails, wonderfully maintained trails. Uh, one of them's 10 miles long, that's my fave. And it's also a biking trail. They have horse trails, they have camping. It's just the neatest little place. Hop on I-95 North, get off at Gold Rock, uh, turn on to uh, Highway 4, and follow the signs to Medoc State Park. It is wonderful. I love to go there on the weekends. So if you get a chance, go. Well, that's what my hat is. Medoc State Park. Got a really cool shirt there. Oh, and they have a museum as well and a nature area that is way cool that talks about the ecosystem in the area. All right, you ready? <laughs> Let's work on some directions. And the first one you have up there is left. And the bestest way to remember left, can you tell him, Joko? Kind of hard to do with his paw. But the way to remember which is left and which is right is by making an L with your left hand. That's left. Uh, you can't make an R with your right. So L for left. All right. Joko, who point to who is to the left of Chase. You're right. It's Sky. Sky is to the left of Chase. Okay. Who is to the left of Marshall? You're right. It's Chase. Good job. Good job. Can you pick up Marshall and put him to the left of Sky? Oh man, you're so talented. You're just so talented. Way to go. Now Marshall is to the left of Sky. So that's left. You have a left side of your body and you have a right side of your body. Let's move that over a little bit. I'm going to put Marshall back. Okay. Again, who is to the right? of Sky. There's Sky. Who's to her right? You're right. It's Chase. Yay! And Lucy's back in. Joko, who's to the right of Chase? He's thinking about it. <laughs> exactly correct. It's Marshall. And look, he used his right paw to do it. So you have left, right. What other directions do we have? Ooh, above and below. Okay, Joko, who's above your head? Oh, uh, really good. Way to go, Bucko. You're exactly correct. I'm above your head. Joko, who's below my head? Exactly correct. Can you put sky above Chase. Look at you, man. Oh, she didn't want to play nice. You're exactly correct. Sky is now above Chase. Who is below Sky? Exactly correct. It's Chase. Chase is below Sky. Joko, can you put Marshall above Sky? Good job, good job, good job. 
They're supposed to be stackable. Well, hold on. Now we have Marshall is above Sky and Sky is above Chase. Yay! And we put them all back down for above and below. Good job, Joko. Man, you're kicking it this morning. <gasps> up! Okay, can you put your paws up? Just put your hands in the air. Dance like you just don't care. Woo, good job, good job, good job. Okay, can you put your paws down? You know what? I bet you that's the next word. Oh my God, it is down. Can you put them down? Put your hands up or your paws. Put your paws down. Good job, Joko. Put them up. Put them down. Way to go. These are all in a sense of directions. Ooh, and our next two, I bet, are going to be over and under. Put your, let's spread them out a little bit. All right, there we go. Joko, put your right, ooh, chain requests. Put your right paw over Marshall. Yay! Put your left paw over Sky. Look at you, man. Put both of your paws over Chase. Yeah, you breaking bad in your old age. I'm telling you, brother, you is an OG, original gorilla. Okay, put your paws down. Ooh, over. What's what's the opposite of over? Under. <laughs> Yeah, baby. All right. Put your paw under Marshall. Good job. Marshall is over Joko's paw. Joko's paw is under Marshall. Way to go, way to go. All right. Put your paw under the table. Way to go, Broco. All right, put your paws over the table. Look at that, man. All right, good job, good job, good job, good job. All right, let's see what we got next. So those are directions. What's after directions? <gasps> pathways. There are different pathways we use in physical education. It can be curved, straight, diagonal or zigzag. Suppose we wanted to go in a curve and we just so happen to have, yes, we just do, because we're prepared and we big in bed like that, a circle. And a circle is a continuous curve. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna ask Chase to help me out. You guys can watch, see if he does it right. All right, Chase, can you walk around the curve? Ah! Okay, okay. We, we don't need to call a rescue squad yet. He's going around the curve. Around the curve. You've got curves in highways. You've got curves when you go to the park and you go down some of those real fancy schmancy slides. So that's a pathway we could do as a curve. Thank you so much, Sky. There you go, baby cakes. You hold on to that. Okay, she's watching the curve. She says, I want to watch one. You're letting the boys do everything. What's up with that? I protest. I protest. Free Sky. Free Sky. All right, chick. There you go. So she went around the curve. All right. What are some other direct, not directions, pathways? <gasps> Straight. Here we go. That's straight. 
go in a straight line. It's like when you're walking down the hall to go to lunch, you're walking down the hall to go to bathroom, you're walking down the hall to get on your bus. Straight. All right, that's another pathway. An additional pathway? Oh boy, zigzag. Yeah, baby. We prepared. We have prepared a chart that shows a zigzag. When you do a zigzag, you go to the left and then you go down and then you go again to the left and then you go to the right and then you go to the left and then you go to the right. It's a zigzag pattern. You might do this when you're playing tag. Uh, you might do this when you're playing hide and seek. And in order to do this, we go one direction and then we stop and we go down to the bottom and then we go to the direction again. That's called a zigzag. If you're a hiker, you would do this on what are called switchbacks. You don't want to go straight up the mountain because some of the hikes I've taken, whoa, baby, it's like straight up. There's a great one in Skyline Drive, the last nine tens of the mile are straight up. Trust me. So what do you do? You do what are called switchbacks. You, you walk for a little bit, then you go up, then you walk for a little bit, and then you go up again. Those are called switchbacks when you're out hiking. Well, you know another one that you might do other than a zigzag? A diagonal. And a diagonal is when you go from one corner to another corner. A diagonal. So, oh, there goes Chase. He's walking the diagonal. Dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, 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 da. That's a diagonal. When you go from one corner to the other corner, a diagonal. What else can you guys do? Let's check it out. Oh, now we're into the levels. In physical education, there are three different levels, low, medium, and high. What Joko and I are doing right now is low because we're sitting on the floor. So the lowest level would be like the floor and where you would be like these guys. They're on top of the table. They're on a low level. They're doing things on a low level. When you do things on a medium level, that's normal. That's like basic walking. So if Joko was to stand up and start walking, that would be a medium level because that's the normal level that we operate on. If he were to start walking and he got way up on his tippy toes, if he got way up on his tippy toes, he would be at a high level. And you do this when you're dancing. Dancing, you might be on a medium level. Then you're up on your toes. You're on a high level. Uh, in gymnastics, you do all three of these levels. You may be low doing some tumbling, rolling around on the mat. Then you'll be at a medium level. And then you might be at a high level where you're doing a routine where you might be doing round off back handsprings, round off and flipping. You would be at high levels and medium and low if you were on the uneven parallel bars. So in physical education, we work on these different directions, pathways, and levels. And you do this in the course of a day. You're asleep in your bed, low. Mom comes in and yells at you or turns on the lights and says, get out of bed. And you sit up, and you're like, oh man. And then you stand up, medium level. When you go on the bus, you're going up to a higher level because you're going up the stairs. So you go through these different levels in the course of your day. So thank you for watching as we go through one of the basic standards, essential standards in first grade that deal with motor skills. And thank you so much to Marshall, Chase, and Sky for helping me out. And we will see you later. Yeah, baby. And have a large day as I transition from a low level. Excuse me just a minute, Joko. And go sneaking around the corner to turn the video off.